Mr. White, I have just sent Donald down to the car to get my pen. When he gets back, we can get these papers signed and you will be the new owner of the greatest club in the world. I'm not going to hold my breath, Minty. It's a hell of a media scrum out there and I've been dicked around enough, especially by your pals Johnston and Murray. Are you not sad to be giving up this great club? How much are you giving me for my shares again? Six mil. Then no. What will be the first thing you do as owner? I'm torn between either getting rid of that permatam fool bane or to trademark the doofy. Even Big Terry Butcher was pulling that move last night. I saw. I suppose the one good thing about this shit dragging on is that after the result last night, this takeover will pile more misery on the Tims. In fact I've decided the first thing I am going to do is buy a seal and send him to all Celtic away games. I will then employ Charlotte Jackson from Sky Sports News to work for Rangers TV and I will make sure that Big Mo Edu stays the fuck away from her. If only the internet was around when I first took over. Are you joking? You obviously don't look at it now. Rangers Media have a thread on this takeover that is over 500 pages long and you should hear some of the shite they talk about you. Really? Yes, most of it is true. Oh shite, I've just remembered that I haven't left a pen in my car. Donald's probably looking under the seats for it now. Fuck it, I can't disclose to the stock exchange until tomorrow morning anyway. Is there a back door out of here? We leave Donald here on an overnighter and let these media cunts stay outside a little longer. Sounds like a plan. Do you fancy grabbing a pint? Yes, but you're buying. I'm paying through my arse end to you tomorrow so the least you can do is buy me a drink. I just need to leave a post on Rangers Media to some cunt called Spunkles who I want to chuck my pot of piss over. Good stuff. You send your post and I'll fire up the roller.